Hi everyone, this is Matet and welcome to Andito Me channel. Um, now I'm going to the hospital uh, for a COVID-19 checkup just to make sure that I'm not, I don't have it and no, I'm not symptomatic or anything. So let's go. Alright, so I'm now here at the hospital. So look at this. So to open your mouth and you come out. Hi everyone, so I just finished the testing for COVID-19 and the nurse told me that I will be able to get the result within 3 to 5 days. So they will text me if it's negative or positive and hopefully it's negative. Okay, um, I don't have any symptoms but it's better to be sure because I live in one of those 10 hotspot postcodes here in Melbourne. And we started our lockdown last week, but now the the premier you know, said that everyone who lives in Melbourne should be in lockdown for six weeks. So hopefully it's negative, and hopefully we can flatten the curve just like what we happened um, two months ago. Okay, so I'll keep you posted when I get the result. Hi. Hi. After two days. I received a message from the hospital. They told me that the test result is negative, which is great news. And part of that message, it says that if I'm still sick or unwell, uh, I should remain at home and stay in isolation until I get better or fully recovered. And if ever I'm having assurance of breath, then I need to go to the hospital, seek help in the emergency department. And good thing, I'm better, so I don't need to go to the hospital. Uh, you know, here in Melbourne, the coronavirus case is increasing each day. We're actually in our second wave. Probably not in other countries, you're in second wave as well. Or no, the, the virus cases case is increasing or decreasing. We don't have a vaccine yet for the virus, so please be safe. You know? If you're going out, don't forget to bring your mask. Use it for your safety and for everyone's safety. You're not only protecting yourself, but others as well. There are so many people who are asymptomatic and they don't know that they are carriers of this virus. So please be smart. Wash your hands or use sanitizers whenever. Um, before I end this video, please let us pray for each other. That may we always be safe and healthy. So, please, let's recite the Oratio Imperata. Oratio Imperata is um, it's a Latin word for obligatory prayer. It is a set of Roman Catholics invocative prayer for calamities or disruption of you know, peace in the society or cliques. So let's recite the Oratio Imperata for COVID-19. Oratio Imperata, prayer against 2019 novel coronavirus. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and stemming the tide of its transmission. 
guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenz Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calenzon, pray for us. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to click the like button and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So see you again some other time. God bless. Bye-bye. See ya.